Sheldon's log. <laughs> Stardate 63345.3. While my colleagues are off observing the Leonid meteor shower, I've remained behind to complete my paper on the decays of highly excited massive string states. Although my research is going well, I do miss the warmth of human companionship. <laughs> Penny? 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 Penny, hurry! Penny? I'm back here! Penny? 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 Oh, for God's sake, I'm in the bathroom! Should I come back at a better time? <laughs> Hello. I slipped in the shower and I think I dislocated my shoulder. Not surprising. You have no safety mat or adhesive stickers to allow for purchase on a surface with a low coefficient of static friction. What? Tubs are slippery. I know. I slipped. Now you gotta help me get my arm into the sleeve. Okay. Is that my arm? It doesn't feel like an arm. Then maybe you should let it go. All righty. I can feel the earth moving. It's moving too fast. Raj, slow it down. Okay, how's that? Better, thanks. <laughs> Stars are pretty, aren't they? <laughs> What's so funny? Is your American accent, everything you say sounds stupid. <laughs> Stars are pretty, aren't they? <laughs> <laughs> We have to fill these out. Describe illness or injury. I dislocated my shoulder. All right. And how did the accident occur? You already know that. Cause of accident, lack of adhesive ducts. <laughs> okay, medical history. Have you ever been diagnosed with diabetes? No. Kidney disease? No. Migraines? Getting one. Are you currently pregnant? No. Are you sure you look a bit puffy? Change migraine to yes. When was your last menstrual period? Oh, next question. I'll put in progress. Okay. Moving to psychiatric disorders, list all major behavioral diagnoses, e.g. depression, anxiety, etc. Oh my god, what the hell does this have to do with my stupid shoulder? Episodes of subpsychotic rage. <laughs> Ass. Possible Tourette's. <laughs> my moles, lesions, or other skin conditions. Soup tattoo on right buttock. <laughs> Sheldon, Sheldon, look, I am scared and in a lot of pain. Could you please take a break from being you for just a minute and try being, I don't know, comforting? I'm sorry. They're there. <laughs> Everything's going to be fine. <laughs> Sheldon's here. God, we're home. Can't believe we spent three months in that frozen hell. It was like a snowy nightmare from which there was no awakening. I don't know what Arctic expedition you guys were on, but I thought it was a hoot and a half. <laughs> oh, hi, Mom. No, I told you I'd call you when I got home. I'm not home yet. All right, I'm home. 
but mother, I have to go. Yeah, love you. Bye. Hello, old friend. <laughs> Daddy's home. <laughs> Leonard, you're back. Yeah, I just stopped by to say. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, so hot. hi. <laughs> Damn it, I should have gone over and told her we were back. <laughs> Yeah, it was first come, first serve. I like the new look. Thanks. I call it the Clooney. I call it the Mario and Luigi, but whatever. <laughs> Sheldon, over here. What are you doing? Well, I feel bad for the guy. Can you please take that stupid hat off? No, I want to blend in. Do what? Toy Story? <laughs> Hi, boys. Howdy, ma'am. Howdy to you, too. You got here quick. Uh, we took the red eye. Well, come on in. Thank you kindly. Can I... Can I get you something to drink? Uh, no, thank you. If y'all don't mind, I got a hankering for a Lone Star beer. <laughs> There's no alcohol in this household. Stop talking like that and lose the hat. <laughs> Sorry. I'll take a Diet Yoo-Hoo if you have it. You'll take a cola. <laughs> what about you? Ranch, is it? Oh, you still having trouble talking to the ladies? <laughs> because you know at our church, we have a woman who's an amazing healer. Mostly she does uh, crutch and wheelchair people. But I bet she'd be willing to take a shot at whatever third world demon is running around inside of you. Uh, if you don't mind, Mrs. Cooper, there's a 305 nonstop back to Los Angeles and you have no idea how much I want to be on it. A girl? Uh, yes, ma'am. Oh, good. I've been praying for you. <laughs> Leonard, check this out. Leonard, she's doing it again. I think it upsets Sheldon when you play with the food. No, it upsets Sheldon when she willy-nilly takes it from the containers without regard for its equitable distribution. This is essentially why you have famine in India. You want me to put it back? Leonard? It upsets Sheldon when you play with the Sheldon. What's up, my nerd dizzles? Raj, Sheldon, I want you to meet my girlfriend, Bernadette. Hello. Leonard, Penny, you know my girlfriend, Bernadette. Uh, hey. Bernadette, say faux shizzle to my nerd dizzles. No! no. What? Oh, yeah, you can't sit there. Why not? That's where Sheldon sits. He can't sit somewhere else? Oh, no, no. You see, in the winter, that seat is close enough to the radiator so that he's warm, yet not so close that he sweats. In the summer, it's directly in the path of a cross breeze created by opening windows there and there. It faces a television at an angle that isn't direct, so we can still talk to everybody, yet not so wide that the picture looks distorted. Well, perhaps there's hope for you after all. Actually, my tests of the Aronoff bomb quantum interference effect have reached an interesting point. Right now, we're testing the phase shift due to an electric potential. That's amazing. <laughs> yes. Leonard's work is nearly as amazing as third graders growing lima beans and wet paper towels. <laughs> While I appreciate the oh snap, I'm uncomfortable having your moist breath in my ear. <laughs> Where did you get them? <laughs> what? Bazinga. I don't care. This is a non-fat yogurt. This is fatty fat fat. Excuse me. Uh, could you grab me another napkin, sweetie? Sure. Thanks, honey. <laughs> All right, what is your deal? 
Excuse me? Inviting my girlfriend to come see your electron accelerator? Yeah, so? Wow, you really are a piece of work. Well, it's not enough, you get the prom queen, you have to get the head of the decorating committee too. What are you talking no, don't about? Don't play innocent with me. I, I practically invented using fancy lab equipment to seduce women. Has it ever worked? Not so far, but that's not the point. Howard, relax. I am not interested in your girlfriend. I hope not. Because you don't want to mess with me. I'm crazy. I believe you. Now, if M-A equals M-G, what does that imply? I don't know. Wait, but how can you not know? I just told you. Have you suffered a recent blow to the head? Hey, you don't have to be so mean. I'm sorry. Have you suffered a recent blow to the head? No, you just suck at teaching. Really? Of those two explanations, which one seems the most likely? Oh, Sheldon, look, I'm trying to understand, but you're going too fast. Can you just back up a little bit? All right. It's a warm summer oh. evening in ancient Greece. Not that far back! Okay. At what point did you begin to feel lost? I don't know. Where were we looking up at the night sky? In Greece. Damn it! Look, there's no need to get frustrated. People learn at different rates. Unlike objects falling in a vacuum, which... M A equals M G. Squared? No. Aristotle? No. Five? Oh. Oh, then I don't know. Why are you crying? Because I'm stupid. Well, that's no reason to cry. One cries because one is sad. For example, I cry because others are stupid and it makes me sad. Oh, I always tear up when the Grinch's heart grows three sizes. <laughs> Tears seem appropriate. Enlargement of the heart muscle or hypertrophic cardiomyopathy is a serious disease which could lead to congestive heart failure. <laughs> la 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 la. You really didn't like it, Sheldon? No, on the contrary. I found the Grinch to be a relatable, engaging character. <laughs> And I was really with him, right up to the point that he succumbed to social convention and returned the presents and saved Christmas. <laughs> what a buzzkill that was. When we watch Frosty the Snowman, he roots for the sun. Excuse me, but the sun is essential for all life on Earth. Frosty is merely a bit of frozen supernatural ephemera and a stolen hat. A crime, by the way, for which he is never brought to account. La 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 So, what did she say when you told her we were going out? Um... You didn't tell her we were going out, did you? Um... Why not? Um... Leonard, I'm no expert on meditation, but if you're trying to calm yourself down, I believe the word is ohm. It was so nice of you to come all the way down to the airport to pick me up. No trouble at all. I drove, mother. I'm driving now. Yes, dear, Mummy's proud. So, Howard, have you and Rajesh finally summoned the courage to express your latent homosexual feelings towards one another? <laughs> what? No! <clears throat> Why not? Because we don't have latent homosexual feelings toward one another. I see. No, really, I have a girlfriend now. And where is she this evening? She had to go out of town. Her grandmother died. I see. Her grandmother died. <laughs> Honest to God. <clears throat> Leonard, tell her I have a girlfriend. I don't know what you're talking about. Her name is Bernadette. She's working as a waitress, but she's going to school to be a microbiologist. Howard, keep in mind that the more passionately you stick to this construct, the more you're hurting your partner. <laughs> I think your lips in my ear is helping. Leonard? 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 What is it? I made tea. I don't want tea. 
I didn't make tea for you. <laughs> this is my tea. Then why are you telling me? It's a conversation starter. It's a lousy conversation starter. Oh, is it? We're conversing. Checkmate. <laughs> Why is Leonard softly banging his head against his bedroom door? Speaking of warm feelings, come here. No, I'd rather have the bus boy. Look at us, getting ready for a double date with actual women who publicly acknowledge they're our girlfriends? Yes, I mean, actual women are the best. I don't understand. What other kind of women are there? Howard, artificial women are your department. You want to take this? <laughs> no, I would just freak him out. Well, then what are we going to do tonight? Uh, sorry, Raj. Howard and I are going out to dinner with Penny and Bernadette. Yeah, no more carefree bachelor nights for me and Leonard. These Broncos have been saddled. <laughs> How did we get actual women? Great. They get girlfriends and they just abandon us? It is great, isn't it? <laughs> we have a wonderful evening ahead of us. We do? Oh, yes. I just discovered I don't have enough room on my hard drive for a Linux partition. So, you and I are going to perform a full backup, reinitialize, and then reinstall all my operating systems. I don't want to do that. All right. Well, I'm going to perform a full backup, reinitialize, and then reinstall all my operating systems. What about me? Well, I understand there are several types of artificial women. <laughs> Maybe you should look into that. How's your work going, Penny? Any acting jobs? Uh, well, the last big thing I did was this production of Diary of Anne Frank above a bowling alley. But I think things might be turning around pretty soon. Great. How come? Well, promise you won't make fun of me? Of course. I would never make fun of you. <sighs> okay, well, I went to this psychic who told me that if I cut my hair, I'm going to get a national commercial. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? You're getting career advice from a psychic? Good job not making fun of her. <laughs> She's not one of those phonies, okay? She wrote a book and has her own website. Oh, gee, why didn't you say so? They don't just let anyone have a website. <laughs> why are you being such a jerk? You're surprised? Your psychic didn't tell you I was going to be a jerk? <laughs> <laughs> Bite me. Here we have the universe of all women. Okay, these are the ones you want to sleep with. These are the women who believe exactly what you believe. These are the women who would be willing to sleep with you. <laughs> and right there, in the little triple intersection, is your ideal mate. Odds are she's a short physicist with low self-esteem who lives in a government research facility in China. What's your point? In order to keep having a sexual relationship with Penny, I have to give up everything I believe in? My intellectual integrity? The very nature of who I am? I can't do that, Howard. I respect that. <laughs> what is that? Your new girlfriend. <laughs> have fun tonight. My Incredible Hulk hands signed by Stan Lee. Oh, oh my. <laughs> I've admired these for years. So does that mean we can go with the girls again? Second date with beauty humans! You can't wear the hands on the date. Hulk said! What the?
The TV is gone. So are our laptops. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God! It's all right. They didn't take my comic books. And then... I do not have to urinate. <laughs> I am the master of my own bladder. <laughs> Drat. <laughs> Bad idea. No, Jim, don't open the door. Listen to her, Jim. Don't worry, there's no one out there. <laughs> Let in Betty! Sheldon's journal. Security system in place. However, sleep continues to elude me. I've seen the underbelly of Pasadena. This so-called city of roses. And it haunts me. Ah, the injustice. I lie here awake, tormented, while out there evil lurks. Probably playing Donkey Kong on my classic Nintendo. <laughs> oh, dear. I am the master of my own bladder. I heard a noise. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, what can you do? Greater alert. <laughs> Looks like Wallowitz got the net electrified. Sheldon, are you okay? I'm fine. No, I'm no longer the master of my own bladder. <laughs> What you doing? I'm attempting to view my work as a fleeting peripheral image so as to engage the superior colliculus of my brain. Interesting. I usually just have coffee. You've been up all night? Is it morning? Yes. Then I've been up all night. And you're stuck? Why else would a person try to engage their superior colliculus? 
Uh, sorry, sweetie, I can't help you till I've had my coffee. <laughs> Penny, I told you, if you don't put him in his crate at night, he just runs around the apartment. <laughs> what is he doing now? Mm, he's either isolating the terms of his formula and examining them individually, or looking for the alligator that swallowed his hand after Peter Pan cut it off. <laughs> Captain Hook's hand was eaten by a crocodile, not an alligator. If you're going to mock me, at least get your facts straight. <laughs> aye, aye, Captain. Electrons move through graphene, act as if they have no mass. How long has he been stuck? Mm, intellectually, about 30 hours. Emotionally, about 29 years. <laughs> The unit cell contains two carbon atoms. Interior angle of a hexagon is 120 degrees. Have you tried rebooting him? <laughs> no, I think it's a firmware problem. The pattern is the same as fermions travels on the pathways hexagonal. It's always hexagonal. I haven't seen him this stuck since he tried to figure out the third Matrix movie. <gasps> hey! Those are my lima beans. Not lima beans, carbon atoms. <laughs> but if I don't eat my lima beans, I can't have my cookie. Here, you want my peas? The peas, perfect, they can be electrons. Or my corn. Don't be ridiculous. <laughs> what would I do with corn? Sorry, I'm moving a little slow. I think I bruised my coccyx. Oh, poor baby. Uh, don't tell Kuthrapali. <laughs> After you. Oh, what a gentleman. Hey, show that. Ah! Oh my God, are you good? Good Lord, you're ruining everything. Oh, damn. Are you okay? Do I look okay? Don't bark at me, I fell too. No, you've been falling all night, you're used to it. Hello? Yeah, I'm Leonard Hofstetter. Yeah, he's my roommate. Oh, God, is he okay? Yeah, all right, I'll be right there. What happened? Sheldon's escaped and is terrorizing the village. <laughs> okay, have fun. Hi, I'm Dr. Hostetter. Where is he? Ball pit. <laughs> Thanks for not calling the cops. Oh, hey, it's no big deal. My sister's got a kid who's special. Yeah, well, he's extra special. <laughs> hey, Shelly. What you doing? Size ratio was all wrong. Couldn't visualize it. Needed bigger carbon atoms. Sure, sure. <laughs> How did you get into this place? Back door has a five-pin tumbler system, single-circuit alarm, child's play. <laughs> You can start sorting protons and neutrons while I build carbon atoms. No, I don't think so. We need to go home now. But I'm still working. If you don't come out of there, I'm going to have to drag you out. You can try, but you'll never catch me. For God's sake. Bazinga. 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 I miss you too, sweetie. Okay, listen, I gotta go, but I'll see you tonight. Bye-bye. Okay, Bye-bye. No, you hang up first. Hello? Any case... They're asking me to fill in for him. In Switzerland or with the big boob weather girl? <laughs> Switzerland. And I get to bring a guest. Oh, no, dude. <laughs> this is incredible. I'm so happy. I'm not even going to question their judgment in picking you. I'm just going to run home and start packing. <laughs> Why wouldn't you take Benny? I am taking Penny. <laughs> Sheldon, you got a minute? Of course. Of course, my good friend, come in. <laughs> yeah, help me out. Which ski hat says Opre Super Collider? 
Sheldon, I'm not taking you to Switzerland. Well, of course you are. Who else would you take? Penny. What? That's absurd. Penny has no interest in subatomic particle research. Yes, but it'll be Valentine's Day. We can go sightseeing and skiing and make love in front of a roaring fire in the shadow of the snow-capped Alps. But Penny has no interest in subatomic particle research. I'm sorry, Sheldon. Sorry? I've been dreaming about going to the Large Hadron Collider since I was nine years old. Yeah? Well, I've been dreaming about spending Valentine's Day with a girl since I was six. Shame on you. That's no dream for a scientist. Morning, old chum. What's going on? I've made you breakfast. Juice, coffee, and pancakes in the shape of some of your favorite fictional characters. See, here's Frodo. You made Frodo pancakes? Yeah, I used coconut shavings to do the hair on his feet. <laughs> if you need to void your bladder before eating, I can keep them warm with this beret that I thoroughly laundered and pressed into service as a pancake cozy. <laughs> Why are you doing this? It's by way of an apology for my recent behavior. I've had some time to reflect, and I've come to realize that friendship is not an aggregation of written agreements. It's the result of two people respecting and caring for each other. Butterscotch scone? <laughs> Thanks. It's good. What you're tasting is respect and affection. <laughs> and about a pound of Crisco. <laughs> After you finished breakfast, I thought we could spend the day watching the final season of Babylon 5 with director commentary. You hate Babylon 5. I do. It fails as drama, science fiction, and it's hopelessly derivative. <laughs> but you like it, and you're my friend. Okay, great. Still not taking you to Switzerland. Drab. <laughs> no Frodo for you. You know what? Even though I don't have a girlfriend, I can still have a good time on Valentine's Day. Trust me, you can't. I've tried. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm going to have a me day. First, I'm going to go to one of those spas in Koreatown. No, take a steam, get a massage. Then I'm going to stop at a pet store and get licked by puppies. Will you please turn your shirt off? What? I'm giving myself dramatic entrance music. People will know I'm awesome and to be feared. All right, there's nothing more awesome and frightening than a man who's got music blasting from between his nipples. I can't believe it. I'm gonna meet Stan Lee. Sad to say, I taught him those moves. <laughs> Damn, paper cut, nothing worse than a paper cut. Well, obviously, you don't remember your circumcision. It's not that big a deal. You just go down to the court on Thursday and you pay the fine. I'm not going to pay a fine. That would imply I'm guilty. You are guilty. <laughs> Thursday, I will have my day in court, and justice will be done. In fact, I'm going to begin preparing my defense right now. Okay, he's going to jail. Penny. 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 That's just wrong. Sheldon Cooper. Good morning, Your Honor. Uh, Dr. Sheldon Cooper appearing in pro se, that is to say, representing himself. I know what it means. I went to law school. And yet you wound up in traffic court. Impressive. Thank you. Guilty. Pay the cashier. I 
object. You're completely ignoring the law. No, I'm following the law. I'm ignoring you. <laughs> really? I would point out that I am at the top of my profession while you preside over the kitty table of yours. <laughs> Dr. Cooper, before I find you in contempt and throw you in jail, I'm going to give you a chance to apologize for that last remark. I'm a scientist. I never apologize for the truth. <laughs> That's my spot. Excuse me, excuse me, jailer. What? I need to use the restroom. Knock yourself out. Well, that's the toilet? Well, it ain't a wishing well. Please tell the judge I'm ready to apologize. Oh, it's about time I'm starving. Uh, well, we didn't actually get Chinese food. Why not? Don't panic, this is better. Oh, no. You didn't trade the food for magic beans, did you? <laughs> of course not. And technically, magic beans would be food. Although eating them would be quite a waste, since you could plant them and overnight have a giant bean stalk, which would provide enough roughage for a small city. Yeah, sometimes I don't listen. Sometimes I just watch your jaw go up and down. We were on our way to the Chinese restaurant when we thought we saw Adam West, so we followed him. Who's Adam West? Wait, who's Adam West? <laughs> What, what do the two of you talk about after the coitus? My guess is, hey, four minutes, new record. <laughs> oh my God. An elf doll. <laughs> when I was 11, my mother got me one to help me sleep after my dad left. I used to pretend that my dad had moved to the planet Melmac and Alf was gonna bring him back to me. <laughs> But he never did. <laughs> Where's my daddy puppet? <laughs> Where is he? That is so sad. Now, what's sad is that you don't know Adam West was TV's Batman. <laughs> oh, look, an Indiana Jones connect a dot? <laughs> and an Aquaman action figure. <laughs> Looks like someone drew a penis on him. <laughs> That'll come off. Sheldon, is there ketchup on that table? Yes, there is. But well, here's a fun fact. Ketchup started out as a general term for sauce, typically made of uh, mushrooms or fish brine with herbs and spices. Some popular early main ingredients included blueberry, anchovy, oyster, kidney bean, and grape. No, that's okay, I'll get it. Give me that. No, it's mine. It's all of ours. Ow, ow, oh, no, God, this is ridiculous. Then let go. I'm not letting go, you let go. But I say this ring belongs to the last person who can hold on. Fine, but can't we go home and start this? Sure. Let go of the ring. <laughs> all right, it starts now. You do realize there's a giant bug movie marathon tonight on the Sci-Fi Channel. Okay, everybody, and plié. <laughs> and relevé. What you doing? Last one holding the ring decides its fate. I know it sounds silly. No, 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 no. You are my boyfriend. Nothing you do is silly to me. Thank you. FYI, this the bag from Victoria's Secret.
I'm out. <laughs> I've done it! I've won! The ring is mine! It's mine! We're going to clean it up and make it pretty. My own, my love, my precious. Look like that spear was gonna go right through your skull? No. <laughs> hey, you didn't want a Slurpee at 7 Eleven, you don't get glasses. <laughs> that will be another congratulatory call for me. Uh, mute, please. Well, hang on, flaming arrow. <laughs> Hello? Oh, Chancellor Morton, how are you, sir? Yes, I was expecting your call three years ago. <laughs> I see. W what happens if I choose not to give a speech? Uh-huh, and if I don't want to forfeit the award? <laughs> well, you've got that tied up in a neat little bow. <laughs> All right, uh, thank you. Problem. What? They expect me to give a speech at the banquet. I can't give a speech. Well, no, you're mistaken. You give speeches all the time. <laughs> what you can't do is shut up. <laughs> Let me tell you a story. Where are 70 children when you need them? <laughs> I was 14 and graduating summa cum laude from college. Summa cum laude is Latin for with highest honors. I just love how you always skip over the part where no one asks. <laughs> I was valedictorian and expected to give an address. Even now, I can remember that moment when I walked up to the podium and looked out at the crowd. There must have been thousands of people. My heart started pounding in my chest. I began to hyperventilate. My vision became blurry, and before I knew it, it oh dear. Oh my God. Sheldon, Sheldon, are you okay? Don't trample me. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Sit down, we want to talk to you. Am I in trouble? Did my mother call you? Just sit. We think we can help you with your stage fright. Oh, I doubt that. I haven't figured out a way, and I'm much smarter than all of you. <laughs> yes, but you're not smarter than all of us put together. Oh, I'm sorry, that is what I meant. <laughs> no. <clears throat> Close your eyes. Okay but don't punch me. <laughs> what? When I was little, my sister would say to me, close your eyes, you'll get a surprise. And then she'd punch me. <laughs> I'm not going to punch you. That's what my sister used to say. <laughs> oh no. What now? A Godzilla-like monster is approaching the city. <laughs> I have to get my people to safety. People of Sheldonopolis, this is your mayor. Follow me. If the children can't run, leave them behind. <laughs> oh, the simulated horror. <laughs> Raj? <laughs> Just as I suspected, meditation is nothing but hokum. Get serious for a moment. <laughs> Why are we all here? Because we're scientists. And what do scientists study? The universe. And what's the universe made of? I am so glad you asked. <laughs> there 
is antimony, arsenic, aluminum, selenium, and hydrogen, and oxygen, and nitrogen, and rhenium, and nickel, neodymium, neptunium, germanium. Everybody! And iron, americium, ruthenium, uranium, europium, zirconium, lutetium, vanadium. Just the Asians! And lanthanum, and osmium, and astatine, and radium. Of course not. My body's in the way. But... If we had access to higher dimensions, we could move our pants around our bodies through the fourth dimension. <laughs> and our days of dropping trousers would be over. <laughs> oh, Lord. This couldn't be any more humiliating. Uh, give it a minute. Now for the astronomers in the audience, get ready to see the dark side of the moon. <laughs> and here's Uranus. I thought you were bringing your own bowling shoes. These are my own bowling shoes. <laughs> What's with the disinfectant? I know where my feet have been. Hey, Penny! And you guys, <laughs> Albino Bob couldn't make it, so I brought a substitute. I believe some of you know Will Wheaton. Hi, Sheldon. How's it going? Well, well, well. If it isn't Will Wheaton, the Green Goblin to my Spider-Man, the Pope Paul the Fifth to my Galileo, the Internet Explorer to my Firefox. <laughs> You're not still carrying a grudge because I beat you with that card tournament, are you? I'm the proud owner of Will Wheaton Stinks.com, .net, and .org. What does that tell you? It tells me that I am living rent-free right here. You ready to bowl? Oh, I'm ready. I don't know if Stuart told you what you're up against tonight, but before you stands the co-captain of the East Texas Christian Youth Holy Roller Bowling League Championship team. Seven to twelve-year-old division. Also, Penny's pretty good. Great. Then it's on. Foolish Will Wheaton. It was never off. My thoughts are its thoughts. Its holes are my holes. that Tweety Bird. Chili cheese fries? Yes, I love chili cheese fries. Really? You love them? Yeah, why? No reason. Just glad to hear you're comfortable saying you love something. Penny. 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 What? This is for you. Ice cream? I've been familiarizing myself with female emotional crises by studying the comic strip Kathy. <laughs> when she's upset, she says, ack, and eats ice cream. Um, ack. If you were a cat, I would have brought you a lasagna. I, um, I want you to know that even though we're on opposite sides, I... I bear you no ill will. Thank you, Stuart. It's nice to know. Mm -hmm. People from opposite sides often have good relationships, you know? Romeo and Juliet, Tony and Maria from West Side Story, what's his name in the big blue chicken avatar. <laughs> I'm gonna bowl now. Sheldon, 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 excuse Sheldon. me. I don't know who you're chanting for is I am currently the ball. The ball, the ball, the ball, the ball, the ball, the ball. Thank you, Jesus. As my mother would say. I feel empowered. <laughs>
You're wrong. Wolverine was not born with bone claws. Howard, you know me to be a very smart man. Don't you think if I were wrong, I'd know it? <laughs> okay, first of all... Give it up, dude. You're arguing with a crazy person. <laughs> I'm not crazy. My mother had me tested. <laughs> Children, dinner's here. Tandoori Palace. No, we went somewhere new. <laughs> You're good-naturedly ribbing me, aren't you? Now well, look, Mumbai Palace. Why? Why would we change? We had a perfectly good palace. Tandoori Palace is our palace. Trust me, this will be just fine. You are the authority on just fine. <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Not exactly. Not bad, but not great. <laughs> What are they talking about? Uh, I don't know. I know, as I'm sure da, you're aware. Da, 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 da. If that's Morse code, that's terrible. <laughs> as I was saying, you and Leonard had a disappointing sexual encounter. Well, earlier this evening, Leonard characterized it as just fine. So what you're seeing here is a continuation of the mocking that followed. <laughs> Okay, yeah, well, I'm just gonna go eat my dinner elsewhere. Maybe an airplane headed for a mountainside. It's a penny. Wait. Uh, what is wrong with you? I sense I may have crossed some sort of line. <laughs> yeah, you uh, do uh, Don't tell him. Let's see if he can figure it out. <laughs> More wine? Hit me. <laughs> what are we drinking now? Peppermint schnapps. <laughs> Why would you buy peppermint schnapps? Because I like peppermint and it's fun to say schnapps. <laughs> hey, Leonard. What? Schnapps. <laughs> Schnapps. Uh, You're right. His fun. <laughs> oh, sweetie, you really can't hold your liquor, can you? I'm okay. Just a little mouthwash, and then I'm gonna rock your world. <laughs> And I don't see anything. Shh. <laughs> Hallway. <laughs> One at a time. <laughs> be careful. If I were not being careful, you're telling me to be careful would not make me careful. <laughs> Stairwell. Uh-oh, flashlight went out. I need some batteries. <laughs> Fellas? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> it's really dark down here. <laughs> Holy crap. It's like Silence of the Lambs down here. <laughs> don't do that! He's such a girl, it just bugs. Yeah, well, I don't like bugs, okay? They freak me out. Interesting. You're afraid of insects and women. Ladybugs must render you catatonic. <laughs> it was a joke. I made it to lessen your discomfort. You're welcome. Oh, damn, they canceled my visa. <gasps> oh, yeah, a new MasterCard. Uh-oh. What? I was going to get my mail. OK. Are, are you hoping to get it telepathically? I think you mean telekinetically. <laughs> and no. I just wasn't sure of the proper protocol now that you and Leonard are no longer having coitus. Oh, God, can we please just say no longer seeing each other? 
Well, we could if it were true. But as you live in the same building, you see each other all the time. A variable which has changed is the coitus. Hey, where you been? I was talking with Penny. What's wrong with you? You can't hang out with your roommate's ex. It's totally uncool. No, it's fine. I don't care. I'm over it. Yeah, he's over it. That's why he's been whining all day about trying to invent that memory wiper gizmo for Men in Black. <laughs> Is he making any progress? Because I'd like to erase Ben Affleck as Daredevil. <laughs> Hold on, I'll walk down with you. Oh, well, that's not necessary. You can go first. Or we could go together. I can't think of a reason why not. <laughs> Let's go. Hold on. Nope, no reason. <laughs> I've missed you. Hey, Leonard. Yeah. I haven't had sex in a year. Where are you going with this, Raj? Don't flatter yourself, dude. What? You said you were going for a walk. I didn't say outside. So what, you're just gonna walk up and down the stairs? No, of course not. That would be odd and suspicious behavior. Here, Ripples. Here, boy. Which way are you going? Which way are you going? I parked my scooter down the block. I'm going the other way. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Well, actually, I'm this way. <laughs> Do I smell hot dogs? No. I mean, I have no idea what you smell. Well, you definitely smell raw hot dog. Perhaps you're getting a brain tumor. All right. Have a nice walk. Bye, Shell. Have a nice scoot. You might want to stand back. I'm sitting on top of 13 horses here. Nice doggy. I bet you think you smell hot dogs. Look, a cat! Penny. 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 Here. I had to trade the others for my life. Hold. What? Explain your sneeze. I'm sorry? Do you have allergies? No. Is there too much pepper on your salad? I don't put pepper on salads. I've heard enough. Sit over there. Come on, I don't want to sit by myself. Uh, that's what Typhoid Mary said, and clearly her friends buckled. <laughs> Guys, help me. Sheldon, come on. Yeah, it's just one sneeze. You're on your own. See you, buddy. <laughs> I am off to start a prophylactic course of antibiotics. I can't believe he's friends with Elizabeth Plimpton. I can't believe they let him into Canada. Whoa, whoa, whoa you heard the man. Where's your throat cultures? I'm kidding. Sit down. <laughs> Vocal test, morning vocal test. Mm. Second vocal test, second morning vocal test. Morning, Sheldon. Morning. Morning, Sheldon. Morning. I trust you had a pleasant night. More than pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Hi. Oh, Penny, this is Dr. Plimpton, a leading expert on quantum cosmology. Dr. Plimpton, Penny is a waitress who doesn't understand the role gasoline plays in the internal combustion engine. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. Are you enjoying your stay? Yes, very much. Good. <laughs> 
wonderful, meaningless pleasantries accomplished. Elizabeth, Leonard's bathroom time is coming up, and believe me, you do not want to follow him. <laughs> what? What do you mean, what? It's Halo night. Uh, I can't. I'm too sick. <clears throat> Go away. <laughs> That's why we moved Halo night here. Look, I brought my mom's chicken soup. I'm not hungry. Don't send him away. Let him in. Who is that? I bought a parrot. <laughs> Yeah, right. Dr. Plimpton. Hi, Howard, right? Uh, yeah. Can I ask you a question, Howard? Do you like role-playing games? <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> In fact, I'm a dungeon master. <laughs> Not tonight. Tonight, you are a delivery man. You brought soup, but uh-oh, Raj and I don't have enough money to pay you, so we'll have to come to some other kind of arrangement. <laughs> Beg pardon? You two figure out the details. I'm gonna go change into something I don't mind getting ripped off my milky flesh. <laughs> what the frack? Hey, who's ready for Halo? Oh, this is like a nightmare. Get lost! <laughs> He's right. The numbers are shaky enough as it is. I don't understand. <gasps> oh, good. Leonard's here. Good? Elizabeth, what's going on? What's going on is you and Howard are my moving men, and Raj is my new landlord, and I don't have enough money to pay any of you. Is she suggesting what I think she's suggesting? Yup. Welcome to the penthouse forum. <laughs> okay, show of hands, who's up for this? We'll all be naked in front of each other. I'm out. Everybody ready? Follow my lead. Almost. Uh, we're going to go out into the hallway and uh, make a dramatic entrance. Oh, good. It's so much better when everyone commits. Run, 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 run. Don't look back. I thought we had something special. <laughs> so you say you can't pay your rent? <laughs> Cooper? No, you want the crazy guy across the hall. Yes? Yeah, I'm Leonard Hofstetter. I called you about the apartment. You said to come I know by what I said. I know what you said. I know what my mother said on March 5th, 1992. <laughs> what is the sixth noble gas? What? You said you're a scientist. What is the sixth noble gas? Uh, radon? Are you asking me or telling me? <laughs> Telling you? <laughs> telling you. All right. Next question. Kirk or Picard? Oh, uh, well, that's tricky. Um, uh, original series over Next Generation, but Picard over Kirk. Correct. <laughs> You've passed the first barrier to roommatehood. You may enter. Oh, this is pretty nice. This is the bathroom. Are you fairly regular? Uh, I guess. This isn't going to work if you're guessing. <clears throat> when do you evacuate your bowels? When I have to. When you have to? I'm sorry, I don't rent to hippies. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, uh, in the morning, around eight. I can't give you eight. I can give you 7.30. Fine, I'll take it. Third barrier passed. You have won the right to see your room. Huzzah. Is this it? No, this is my room. People don't go in my room. So where do you sleep? <laughs> I don't understand. And, uh, if people don't go in there and you're people... You are people, aren't you? <laughs> Making a joke. Do you do this often? On occasion. Leonard. Shh, just pretend we're not here. Leonard. I'm sure he'll go away. 
I'm just gonna keep knocking till you answer. <laughs> Leonard. 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 What do you want? I didn't say come in. You asked what I wanted. I wanted to come in. The trick is to mix it in a Tovex in order to create a combustible gel that will generate over 8,000 kilonewtons of thrust. Cool. <laughs> Won't work. Excuse me, but I've been working on this a long time. Trust me, it'll work. You don't see your mistake, do you? There's no mistake. This is for a full-scale rocket, not a model. Well, I've adjusted the formula. Not correctly. <laughs> okay, I've had it with you. You might be an expert on theoretical physics and science fiction programs and where to sit on a freaking couch, but this is applied physics. And when it comes to applied physics, uh, uh, oh. What's happening? A bad thing, a very bad thing. Get the door, get the door, get the door, get the door, get the door. Give me that. <laughs> oh, what'd you do that for? I had plenty of time. You're welcome. Okay, we've got power to the laser. I should have brought an umbrella. What for? It's not gonna rain. I know that, but with skin as fair as mine, moonburn is a real possibility. <laughs> That's a bazinga, right? One of my best, don't you think? <laughs> Howard, uh, do you want to double check the equatorial mounts on the laser? We need it locked onto the Sea of Tranquility. You got it. Oh, Raj, no. Billions of dollars have gone into inventing the internet and filling it with pictures of naked women so we don't have to peep through windows. <laughs> it's not like that. I'm watching someone's TV. The Good Wife is on. <laughs> Let me explain what we're doing here. Uh, in 1969, the astronauts on Apollo 11 positioned reflectors on the surface of the moon, and we're gonna shoot a laser off one of them and let the light bounce back into this photomultiplier. Oh, that's very cool. One question. How can you be sure it won't blow up? The laser? The moon. See, now this is a man for Penny. <laughs> Preparing to fire laser at the moon. Make it so. <laughs> there it is. There's the spike. 2.5 seconds for the light to return. That's the moon. We hit the moon. <laughs> <laughs> That's your big experiment? I'll have a line on the screen? Yeah, but uh, think about what this represents. The fact that we can do this is the only way of definitively proving that there are man-made objects on the moon, put there by a member of a species that only 60 years before had just invented the airplane. What species is that? I can't bring the nitrogen tank down. Why not? All right, let me restate that. It's very heavy and I don't want to. I'll help you. Thank you. Lift with your knees, not your back. <laughs> Good night. If she can do it, I can do it. If she can do it, I can do it. If she can do it, I can do it. I can't do it. Hello? Oh, 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 hi, 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 Leslie. <laughs> Leonard Hofstadter, what are you doing here? Well, uh, I know, it's been a while. Yeah, 18 months. Right, right. <laughs> How you doing? Fine. You? Uh, not bad. Uh, do you remember um, when we used to have sex and you said that it didn't mean anything, it was just for fun? Yeah. Do, do, do you want, want to do that again? What happened? Blondie dumped you? She didn't dump me. We were just in different places in the relationship. Right. Um, Anyway, uh, uh, apparently, it's okay to go back to people you're no longer seeing and have recreational sex with them. Uh-huh. So what do you say? <laughs> Let me think about it. <laughs> She's not coming back. <laughs> oh, hey, Leonard. 
I was a perfectly happy, geeky, little lonely guy. And you've ruined me. Are you drunk? Come on, we're gonna have sex and it's not gonna mean a thing. Are you out of your mind? Really starting to think there's a double standard here. Going out tonight, I'm feeling alright. Gonna let it all hang out. Really makes it cold. Never gonna scream and shout. No, no. Morgan Sheldon, come dance with me. No. While I subscribe to the many worlds theory, which posits the existence of an infinite number of Sheldons in an infinite number of universes, I assure you that none of them am I dancing. Are you fun in any of them? The math would suggest that in a few, I'm a clown made of candy. But I don't dance. All right, want some French toast? It's oatmeal day. But tell you what, next French toast day, I will make you oatmeal. Dear Lord, are you still going to be here on French Toast Day? <laughs> Boy, that does smell good. Too bad it's Monday. Just remember, we are lost boys, children of the night. Great, lost boys, children of the night. Got it. Can you pass the Chex Mix, please? <laughs> Thank you. We are lost boys. Good for you. I'm actually much more lost than he is. <laughs> nice ink. Thanks. Kanoza no shinka o tomeru tame. What's this cartoon called again? Oshikuru Demon Samurai. And it's not a cartoon, it's anime. Anime. You know, I knew a girl in high school named Anna Mae. Anna Mae Fletcher. She was born with one nostril. Then she had this bad nose job and basically wound up with three. You're here a lot now. Oh, am I talking too much? I'm sorry. Zip. Thank you. Chocolate? Let me take this in the hall. So what do you guys do? Oh, you know, goth stuff, goth magazines, goth music, goth food. What's goth food? Uh, blackened salmon? No, I meant what do you do for jobs? Oh, we're scientists. So yeah, you know, the dark. Sciences. What are the dark sciences? Well, I am an astrophysicist, and a lot of that takes place at night. <laughs> when there are vampires and miscellaneous undead out and about. Oy vey. Why don't we go somewhere else and have some fun? Okay, sure. We have fun. We are fun people. But dark and fun. <laughs> Come on, I know a place you'll really dig. Are you happy now? <laughs> Not particularly. Are you seriously going to deface your body just on the possibility you could have cheap sex with a strange girl you met in a bar? Uh, yeah. What is your mother going to say? She's not gonna see it. She takes my temperature orally now. What are you gonna get, Howard? Well, I uh, can't really decide between a screaming devil, this mean little skull, or Kermit the Frog. Kermit the Frog? You know. Hi, ho, I'm on Howard's butt. Get the mean little skull, and I'll see if I can make him smile. Yeah, I'd like the mean little skull, please. 
What are you gonna get, Raj? With my luck, hepatitis. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> That's just rubbing alcohol. I know, but it was cold. Okay. Ow, 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 ow. I'm putting on the stencil. What, what comes after the stencil? This. Oh! 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 Okay, that's it. No needle, no pain, no tattoo. What's the big deal? You've done this before. No, I haven't. Look. I'm sorry. I'm a fraud. He's a fraud. We're both frauds. Yeah, I think I covered that. But I was summing up. <laughs> This movie baffles me every time we watch it. What do you mean? The instructions are very clear. Don't feed the gremlins after midnight. <laughs> Don't get the gremlins wet. <laughs> How hard is that? Anyway, I was thinking I'd have Thanksgiving here and you are all invited. Oh, I'll be there. Will you be serving cranberry jelly or cranberry sauce? <laughs> I guess I could serve both. You guess? You don't seem to have much of a handle on this. <laughs> yeah, I really wish I could, Penny, but every year my mother has all the relatives over and cooks up her famous Terbriska fill. Terbriska fill? Hmm. Turkey stuffed with the brisket stuffed with gefilte fish. <laughs> it's not as good as it sounds. Raj, what about you? Oh, he usually comes to my house, right, pal? All right, this year you don't have to eat the Tabriska fill. <laughs> I don't even chew it, I swallow it like pills. Hi, Leonard. Hello, Raj. Hi, hey, Sheldon. Forgive me, as you know, I'm not adept at reading facial cues, but I'm going to take a stab here. You're either sad or nauseated. <laughs> I'm sad. I was going to say sad, I don't know why I hedged. <laughs> Raj, guess what? Professor Laughlin is looking for someone to join the Stellar Evolution research team. You're kidding! That's fantastic! <laughs> Come on, what are you waiting for? Call him and set up an interview. I'm on it. That's happy, right? Yeah. Nailed it. <laughs> I'm a little confused about this. Why don't Hindus eat beef? We believe cows are gods. Not technically. In Hinduism, cattle are thought to be like God. Do not tell me about my own culture, Sheldon. In the mood I'm in, I'll take you out. I swear to cow. <laughs> Please sit down. I don't know if you're Sherry. It's a little early, isn't it? Not on Proxima Centauri. <laughs> <laughs> That's very good. Jolly amusing. But if you don't mind, I'll hold off until sunset on Titan. <laughs> well done. I have a feeling you're going to fit in just fine, Dr. Kudrabali. Thank you, sir. I'm sorry, am I late? No, 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 right on time. Dr. Kudrabali, may I present Dr. Millstone from MIT? She'll be heading up our data analysis team. It's nice to meet you, Dr. Kuthrapali. I read your paper on Kuiper Belt Object Size Distribution. I really enjoyed it. How did you correct for the selection bias? Well, I ran a simulation. <laughs> allowed me to correct for the observational efficiency. That's just fascinating. Thank you. Would you like to hear more about it in my hot tub? So when do I start? <laughs> what do you mean you didn't get the job? How could you not get it? You know, he's British, I'm Indian. <laughs> Ever since Gandhi, they haven't liked us very much. Are you saying that he discriminated against you because we should file a complaint? Well, that's okay. Complaint's been filed. <laughs> Sheldon, are you busy? Of course I'm busy. Shall I wait? Yes, please. <laughs> How may I help you? <laughs> What? I need an aspirin. 
top desk drawer. Thank you. All right, yes, good. Sheldon has kind of a photographic memory. Photographic is a misnomer. I have an eidetic memory, as I've told you many times. Most recently, last year, during lunch on the afternoon of May 7th. <laughs> you had turkey and complained it was dry. Well, I guess game's over. Really? Oh, great. <laughs> I mean, oh. <aww. laughs> Okay, I gotta go. Why? Because last time I didn't go, I ended up playing Mystic Warlords of Ka. <laughs> Not Ka, Ka. Ah. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> See ya. Still can't believe she's going out with me. Nobody can. <laughs> oh, damn it. Can I have a napkin? I'm sorry, no. <laughs> You have a whole bunch of them. Yes, I've moved to a four-napkin system. <laughs> Lap, hands, face, and personal emergency. <laughs> if you like, starting tomorrow, I'll add a guest napkin, but I'm afraid there's nothing I can do for you today. <laughs> Good luck, that's the face napkin. <laughs> wow, you really are a genius. <laughs> Not really. I googled how to do that. <laughs> so, tell me more about the future mother of my children. She's adorable, Howard. I think you'll like her. Great. So what did you tell her about me? Did you mention the body fat? No, I, I thought that'd be a nice surprise for her. Good. Good. I just told her you're an aerospace engineer. You speak five languages. Six, if you count Klingon. The girls don't count Klingon, Howard. Right? Right. So Penny tells me you're working as a waitress to put yourself through grad school. That's pretty great. Mm -hmm. What are you studying? Microbiology. Oh, cool. So you could study me. I don't understand. Microbiology is the study of tiny living things. I know, I'm studying it. Yeah, and I said you could study me, because I'm a tiny living thing. <laughs> it's a joke. Are you sure? Do you like science fiction? No. Role-playing games? Like in the bedroom or like Dungeons and Dragons? Either. No. You like It's gonna be a long night. Yeah, well, it's your fault. I had to ask. You didn't have to say yes. You like magic? Not really. Okay. Kaito! 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 Excuse me, you're misusing the word ho. It's an interjection used to call attention to a destination, not an object, as in a land ho or a westward ho. Hey guys, what you doing? Going out to discover electricity? If you're referring to the work of Benjamin Franklin, he did not discover electricity. He merely used a kite to determine that lightning consists of electricity. He also invented the Franklin stove, bifocals, and the flexible urinary catheter. <laughs> Kite's ho. We're heading out for some kite fighting. Kite fighting? Oh, yeah. It's an extremely competitive cutthroat sport. Well, actually, the risk of throat cutting is very low. On the other hand, severe string burn is a real and ever-present danger. Uh, you want to come watch? Oh, gee. <laughs> Sounds amazing. But um, I've got some friends coming over. Not a big thing. We're just going to watch the Nebraska game. Oh, football. Sure. Mm -hmm. Good guess. Hey. Hi. How was your football party? It's pretty good. We won. Oh, wow. That's excellent. It's a weird figure of speech, isn't it? We won when you weren't actually playing. <laughs> when we watch Star Wars, we don't say, we defeated the Empire. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. <laughs> oh, hey, on a related subject, are you embarrassed to have me around your friends? Oh, my God, no. 
Why would you ask that? Well, you know, I just noticed I haven't really met any of them. I'm sure you have. Well, yeah, no, I met the huge ex-boyfriend and the smaller yet still larger than me ex-boyfriend. <laughs> By the way, were they here today? Of course not. Of course not. Why would they be? Why would I ask? Why am I rambling? Why don't you stop me? <laughs> it's open. Hey, pal. <laughs> what do you want? Brought you a little gift. New kite. The kite you made me lose was an authentic patang, an Indian fighting kite that my brother sent to me from New Delhi. It took me a day to put together and two days to paint. This is Hello Kitty. <laughs> wow, but it comes with a little coin purse. Does a patang? <laughs> wow, you just don't get it, do you? Buying me something pretty isn't gonna make a problem, just go away. <laughs> You're impossible. Hey, at least I can talk to women without being drunk. Excuse me, I have selective mutism, a recognized medical disorder. You're just a douche. <sighs> How about we go spend the day together? <laughs> just the two of us. We'll go anywhere you want. I don't know. Come on. Let me take you someplace nice. <laughs> I, I do enjoy the La Brea top bits. <laughs> really? Now? With the traffic and the parking? It, okay, fine. The tar pits, let's go. <laughs> no, why can't I stay mad at you? <laughs> Penny. 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 Sheldon, come in. Thank you. I'd like to make a sandwich, but I'm out of bread. <laughs> There's some in the fridge. You shouldn't keep your bread in the refrigerator. Staleness is caused by crystallization of the starch molecules, which occurs faster at cool temperatures. On Earth, we'd say thank you. You know what? It is your life. If you want to have some stupid guitarist stay on your couch, then fine. You know, why don't you just rent some bunk beds and invite the Black Eyed Peas? Hey, if I want to invite the entire lineup of Lollapalooza to sleep in my apartment, I will, and it's none of your business. Are you listening to yourself? Do you know how childish you sound right now? Oh, now I'm a child. Well, at least I'm not an idiot hey, anymore. The two aren't mutually exclusive. Oh, you are such a... What the hell is he doing? He's drowning us out. He doesn't like fighting. Sheldon, just stop. Look, the fight is over. Oh, and FYI, you never even heard Come on, we're late. Calm down, we'll make the movie. I believe my alarm is appropriate given the situation. The movie starts in 17 minutes, which means we'll need to make all the lights on Colorado Boulevard, plus skip the concession stand and pre-show urination. <laughs> oh, dude, I wish you had said something before I founded that last Red Bull. <laughs> go, go, Power Rangers, go. Hey. Hey. We're uh, going to the movies. No, we're not. <laughs> We're standing in the hallway, suffering through an awkward encounter. Hang on. They're showing a new digital print of Time Bandits. You wouldn't want to come, would you? Not really, no. All right, invitation pointlessly offered. Invitation declined as expected. Everyone's civil, nobody's fighting. Have a nice evening. <laughs> Just give us a minute. Take all the time you need. <laughs> so... Are we gonna talk about last night? Are you ready to apologize? No. Eh, wrong answer, but thank you for playing. Oh. <laughs> Come on, this is stupid. Oh, there it is again, you think I'm stupid. No, there's a difference between being stupid and acting stupid. Oh yeah, well there's a difference between being a jerk and being an ass. No there isn't, they're synonyms. <laughs> oh, come on, at the very least when she found out Leonard was upset about it, she should have backed off. You mean like when a guy's upset because his friend agreed to take a cooking class with him and then doesn't show up because he's doing a juice fast with his mother? <laughs> I 
didn't know you were upset about that. Really? Did you miss all the subtle indicators like me saying, Howard, I am upset? Okay, sorry. Maybe it means something different in this country. Back in India, it means you're upset with a guy named Howard. Yeah, I said I'm sorry. Sorry doesn't make up for the fact that I had to make chicken and rice with this vegan guy. Do you know what vegan chicken and rice is? Rice. <laughs> having fun sitting around all night listening to my mother say, have you ever peed so much in your life? Oh my God, you are such a mama's boy. Hey, don't bring my mother into this. You brought your mother into this. Stop it, both of you. All this fighting, I might as well be back with my parents. Damn it, George, I told you if you didn't quit drinking, I'd leave you. Well, I guess that makes you a liar, cause I'm drunk as hell and you're still here. Stop yelling, you're making Sheldon cry. I'll tell you what's making Sheldon cry, that I let you name him Sheldon. Uh, Penny. Yeah? Is everything okay? Yeah, what do you mean? Uh, Sheldon told me you and Leonard are having a fight. Oh, yeah, kind of, it's, it's no big thing. Oh, good, good. I love you. <laughs> Two years later, there's a knock on the door. Guy opens it, and there on his porch is the snail who says, what the heck was all that about? <laughs> I don't really get it. Well, see, it took two years for the snail to... <laughs> Not important. Can I ask you a question? Sure. Where do you think this is going? <laughs> To be honest, I was hoping at least second base. You're so funny. You're like a stand-up comedian. <laughs> a Jewish stand-up comedian, that'd be new. Actually, I think a lot of them are Jewish. Greetings, homies. Homet. Are you back from your date so early? In romance, as in show business, always leave them wanting more. What exactly does that mean? He struck out. <laughs> All right. These are the talking points for my NPR interview tomorrow. I need to make sure that they're simple enough for the less educated in the audience to understand. <laughs> Howard, look this over and tell me what's unclear to you. Excuse me, I have a master's degree in engineering from the Massachusetts Institute of Technology. It required the completion of 144 units of grad work and an original thesis. Yes. Look this over and tell me what's unclear to you. You know, when Sheldon gives you homework, you don't have to do it. In fact, it's better if you don't, otherwise it makes the rest of us look bad. Hi, guys. Hello. Yo, Raj, talk to me. This is Ira Plato, and you're listening to NPR's Science Friday. Joining us today by phone from his office in Pasadena, California, is Dr. Sheldon Cooper. Oh, this is going to be a Wyatt. Thanks for being with us today, Dr. Cooper. My pleasure, Ira. Now, let's talk about magnetic monopoles. Can you explain to our audience just what a monopole is? Of course. First, consider an ordinary magnet, which has, as even the most uneducated in your audience must know, two poles. <clears throat> uh, north and south pole. If you cut that in half, you have two smaller magnets, each with its own north and south pole. Uh, Dr. Cooper, I think there might be something wrong with our connection. Uh, no, I hear you fine. <laughs> I was saying, an ordinary magnet has two poles. The primary characteristic of a monopole is that it has only one pole, hence monopole. A requirement for string theory, or M theory, if you will, is the existence of monopoles. I myself led an expedition to the Arctic Circle in search of said particles. Cricky, I found the nozzle. I'm going to kill you. <laughs> How you doing, buddy? I was humiliated on national radio. How do you think I'm doing? Come on, it wasn't that bad. What do you want? We represent the Lollipop Guild, and we want you. <laughs> okay, so Kripke played a joke on you. It wasn't funny. I thought it was funny. Raj. Oh. <laughs> 
You laughed? Did you laugh? I fell on the floor. 